The Voronoi tool uh, produces a set of cells which are tessellated in a region which we call a boundary and to produce a Voronoi we can give it a set of points as you can see here and if I change the location of the points you can see that those cells change but how are those cells produced is about this video So if we just double click on the canvas and search for VOR, we have a Voronoi and I'm going to talk about the Voronoi, but the Voronoi 3D is another video. In another video I will talk about how we produce bubbles that collide and are just confined in a box. So Voronoi uh, we can be just also reached in the mesh part and the triangulation sub menu. So you can go to the triangulation and choose the Voronoi. Uh, the first thing we have to give to the Voronoi is the points. And those points should uh, be randomly distributed because Voronoi is actually feeding on randomly distributed data. So if I give these points to the points input, you can see that the Voronoi cells emerge. You can also give a boundary that is a rectangle for confining and uh, containment of the Voronoi cells and I have just uh, drawn a rectangle in Rhino and uh, imported as a curve in the params menu and geometry and gave it to the boundary and you can see that the Voronoi cells uh, are just produced. Uh, the next point is uh, that if we give it a, a simple distributed points of a grid of points, let me give an example. If I produce a point and array it in the x for 5 and 5 and 1, and give this points, this set of points to Voronoi, you can see that the results is just a set of rectangles and if I change those points you can see that the Voronoi cells emerge so the first and most important thing about Voronoi is to use randomly distributed points and it's better to be in a plane because if you just check this out I just move these points out into the Z direction the results don't change because the Voronoi is produced in a plane so if I just move those points you can see it's projected and then the results are drawn. The next point about Voronoi is that it has a radius and what is radius? We can define uh, we can define Voronoi as uh, two methods in uh, producing the cells the first method is mathematical, uh, I will talk about it, it's the Delaney mesh. And the second method is just a simple um, geometrical method. The second method uh, is the geometrical method and it uses a radius. So if I give a number to this radius input, and let me just give a number here you can see that actually you can produce the Voronoi cells by drawing a circle around the points and growing the radius the radius grows and what happens is that the circles collide and after collision happens the line uh, is drawn but the circle just uh, continues to grow so if I increase the number of the radius you can see those circles collide and let me let it the boundary be bigger so you can see the circles and why we need a boundary actually happens uh, is that when we increase those circles you can see that I increase the radius uh, the inner circles 
just make the cells that's okay but the outer points it's just like a bubble it grows and it doesn't come to an end because those lines will continue to go outwards uh, to infinity and there's not a confining boundary for it so if I just increase it to like 2400 you can see that it just if we delete the boundary and increase the number you can see that the cells grow but, uh, but grasshopper will produce a square to define the boundary so even if you don't give it a boundary a grasshopper will do that for you and that's the result so uh, if I just decrease the number you can see that those cells or bubbles are being produced and you can have the outer curve of those regions by going to the intersect menu and choosing region union and what actually happens is that it unites the regions and let me just preview off for the Voronoi cells and you can see that the result is the outer uh, curve of the cells and you can use it to produce uh, boundaries of those circles and if I uh, connect a surface to it you can see the results and uh, to have this uh, in a better result we can go to the surface and choose boundary and boundary will just uh, make holes in the region if it uh, if the curves is in located in another curve so this is all about uh, circles growing and colliding and producing those lines this the first method which I was uh, which I talked before is a mathematical one and what it actually is is that if we connect those points uh, together with a rectangle uh, with a triangle excuse me if we connect them with a triangle and that's the Delaunay mesh or Delaunay edge or Delaunay line you can see that the triangle is uh, the base of the Voronoi cells and if I zoom in you can see that the line of the Voronoi is a line which makes the rectangle the triangle edges uh, split into half and it's perpendicular so it's a mediator that is perpendicular to the edge of the triangle and uh, you can see it here and again here and again here and it continues to uh, grow until it hits uh, at a center so this is the point but uh, let's make this in grasshopper if I go to the mesh menu and choose the Lani mesh and connect those points you can see that the Delaunay mesh let's just move those points to see the triangles okay if we don't define a boundary uh, the line here the line that is uh, it's a mediator it continues again to infinity because it doesn't have a boundary so we easily define a boundary by producing a rectangle and uh, give it to a, go to the params and the curve in geometry and import the curve as a boundary so you can see that the control is better the third point the third tip about Voronoi is it has a plane so basically if I give it a XY plane and extract the origin and move the origin up you can see that it uh, produces the Voronoi cells uh, in that plane so uh, the last tip is to uh, talk about the plane what we can do to play with this plane is to uh, let me just draw a rectangle go to the surface in Rhino and uh, draw a rectangle draw a rectangle here and that's a surface let's 
import that into Grasshopper. A great feature in Grasshopper is that you can use a surface if it's a flat surface uh, as a plane because the input is a plane uh, kind of type but the surface is not. If you connect a plane to it, let me just connect a plane, you can see that Grasshopper produces a plane in the corner and uses that as the plane. So a great way of producing a, a parametric plane so we can just change and see the result is to draw a surface and give it to the plane and let's see what happens if I rotate this plane you can see that the uh, Voronoi cells are being drawn into that plane so you can change that plane to produce different cells based on that points and the boundary and you can see that it can be uh, let me just move this outwards and you can see that it's a great way to see uh, how Voronoi is produced uh, the last part is uh, about the Voronoi is you can produce random points let me explain this and if I go to the uh, params menu and choose surface produce a surface you can uh, make randomly distributed point on that surface uh, I will be talking about that tool which is called populate geometry uh, later on but you can connect a populate geometry to the surface and tell how many points you need something maybe like 200 and uh, change the number you can see that it uh, increases the randomly distributed points you can give it a C so you can change the situation different uh, like 400 points but it's uh, in a, a different kind of distribution and if I give this to the points you can see that those cells if I turn off the populate points you can see that those points produce the Voronoi cells so you can produce it by changing the seeds and increasing or decreasing there's a lot of ways we can work with Voronoi cells we can increase the uh, points in a place and make the cells just uh, be distributed more in a place I will be talking about these in a video tutorial I will be making a, a course on grasshopper uh, in the future and I will be talking more and more how you can produce beautiful and uh, parametric geometry with Voronoi even you can go and step into the mesh mesh thing because grasshopper was uh, really uh, weak at using mesh but we can use different plugins to produce mesh, Voronoi mesh, and those techniques I will be talking about in a course. So uh, this is a short uh, video tutorial about uh, Voronoi and how you can produce it and how you can use it. You can easily bake those cells and see that they are just, uh, let me uh, choose all of them expect the rectangle and you can see that those cells are uh, region they are closed and you can work with them you can offset them you can extrude them and have uh, many many different results and thank you for watching this video if you have any comments or questions about uh, grasshopper commands because I will be talking about uh, most of the grasshopper commands in uh, in the future um, feel free to put a comment in this video or other videos and I will put the command uh, on the first list and I will just try to produce it as soon as possible thank you for watching